Hey everyone, Russ here. Today I want to start a series on using Lumi Education to make interactive activities for your students to maximize interactive learning. We're going to be using Lumi Education. Lumi.education is the website. When you get there, you'll notice that there's two ways to do Lumi, the cloud version and the desktop editor version. I personally like to use the cloud version, so that's the one I'm going to focus on for this series. But if you want to download the desktop editor, you're more than welcome to. There's two ways, uh, pardon me, there's two things you might need to do, either log in or sign up. So if you don't already have an account, click on sign up, fill in your credentials, your email and a password, click on register. Alternatively, alternatively you could use one of these five um, companies to log yourself into Lumi. Personally, I use my uh, email and password. It's up to you. Once you've done all that and done all the registration stuff like verifying email and such, Go ahead and click on login. You want to enter your credentials with your password and click submit. And that will bring you into the Lumi education platform. So please, if I were you, I would ask that you would all read this letter from the creator, Jan Phillip. It basically talks about, you know, what he's been doing to keep Lumi running and all that kind of stuff. But hey, we all know that nothing is free. It does cost money for him to keep this website running. So he's actually created some tiered plans to help you uh, donate to him or, or to pay him for his service. Uh, the plans, you don't need them for what we're going to do in this series, but you may want to consider them if you want Lumi to do some hosting for you. I plan on purchasing one of his plans just because I think the work he's done is tremendous and I want to support him and keep him um, maintaining this website so we can all use it and enjoy it for our students. I promise you it is not expensive. Let's scroll down here. We have our My Content button. This button will take you to the uh, H5P activities that you've already created. Create a new content that will take us to the content library where we can search through the different types of interactive activities. Load, upload your content. So if you have your own content on your desktop that you want to throw up to the Lumi Cloud, you can. Deployments. I don't use deployments, but what they do is they allow you to link your learning management system to Lumi. Lumi will, if you pay for one of the tiers, it will allow you to collect student data. So that's why I don't use it because I don't think my college would appreciate me connecting our, our system to their system and sharing student information. I don't think that would be very good for me, but maybe for your college or university, it would be fine. Public content, I highly recommend you check out the public content. It is uh, interactive activities that other faculty from across the world have made and put there for free for us to download and use. You can use them directly, or you may even just become inspired by the work some of our peers have done. Some of those uh, activities are phenomenal. All right, so those are the buttons. Let's start an assignment or an activity. Click on Create New Content. And this brings us to the content library. There is a tremendous amount of things you can do with uh, Lumi and the H5P technology. Personally, I don't bother scrolling through here. I just go here and type in what I want. Now, I would just click on Details. That's what I want it to do, and I went too fast, I'm sorry. Details. So here we can do two things. You can click on Use, which will take you to the Content Editor, or Content Demo. This is a very nice button. Click it. Every Lumi H5P uh, activity has that button, so you can see what this um, assessment or Lumi assignment will do. A true-false question. As you can see, there's a photograph that you can look at. And you can see the true false question here with your selections and your check button. So you just pick one, hit check, and it tells you if it's correct. Here's another example of a true false question without the photograph. See, there you go. Let's just hit true. Oh, got it wrong, but we can retry. False. There you go. So that is the true false question in Lumi. Now, if you think, okay, this is what I want, this, I want to build a true-false question, you would simply hit Use, and that will take you into the true-false question uh, or assessment editor, say it that way. In subsequent videos, I'm going to go through pretty much all of the content library so you can see how to build Lumi assignments or, or H5P or SCORM assignments using anything in the Lumi education library. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please slap that follow button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. It really does help out my channel. And with that, I'll see you in Lumi Education. Bye for now.